Welcome back to Amnesia, the night I went insane, part 2. Now thanks to Parsh911, I know the combination of this stupid puzzle that doesn't make any sense, because if you look at the notes, you have uh, 5 hints, 1 says 1, 2 says 4, 3 says 5, 4 says 6, and... 5 says 8 and it says contrast in letters but it doesn't make any fucking sense this is the most stupid puzzle ever so thanks to parse 9 and 11 I know the combination so we have to put 2 3 7 and 9 and it doesn't make any sense but fine whatever congratulations uh, <laughs> What just happened? I don't know. What do you think? Ew, look at this room. It's gross. And there's probably an exit. There's no time to waste. Yeah, most likely. Let's go. Congratulations, developer. You just won the medal of most retarded puzzle ever. Two cold hands pushed me into this room and locked me in. I heard a laugh from another girl. Who was that? Are there more? Oh, beats me. Um Oh, now it makes sense. It's locked. I take my words back. Now it makes sense. Now I was thinking about it there are nine levers and the five which are mentioned in these notes should not be used. The rest should be ho uh, used, so, um, because 1 says 1, 2 says 4, 8, 5, 6, should not be used, and the rest should be uh, used from the 9. Ah, now I get it. Uh, still, contrast, you know, it's kind of fake. How the hell do you get out of here? Out of this place. And no, it's not funny, woman. Um, some tiny, tiny box. Oh shit, yeah, there you go. Of course. Thank you. I guess... Yeah. Do you still have the key? No. John, don't be scared. Excuse me. Says the guy who tries to rip my fucking head off every time he sees me. That's why I'm trying to make you understand, John. To prove to you. I'm only trying to help you. Whatever, you're sick. I know more about you. Then you think, John. I, I'm just going to ignore you. Remember, Haley, John. How the hell do you know her? Where is she? You see, I don't have her. Nobody here has her. Brittany doesn't have her. Wait, you don't mean... I'll just let you find out for yourself. Farewell. <laughs> Come back here, you son of a bitch. I will find you. I will kill you. This isn't over. The old already done. Oh, let me guess. There are gonna be multiple keys. What the hell happened to this wall? I don't know. To all the walls here. What the hell do happened to all the walls here? Can you just get the key from behind? Let's see. Is the books? Yeah, I can just get the key from behind there. Uh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> stupid man. Such a stupid man. He actually wants to buy this place? I mean, look at it. It's tearing down at the seams. 
The walls are crumbling, and the ceiling's coming down any day. And for God's sakes, there's monsters everywhere. I should know. I'm one of them. I was just as foolish as him at one time. But I wasn't that bad. When I see his rotting corpse, I'm just going to laugh at it. Maybe even throw it in with the others. He doesn't even deserve the fate I got. So selfish. So narcissistic. So... Ugh. So, all the time I was, uh... Listening to a monster, huh? Oh, that's good to know. Great! So all the time I was listening to a monster. And let me guess, I took some wrong decisions that the monster wanted to. Or she. Do you even know if the world behind you is still even there? Let me guess, there's nothing there anymore? Oh. <laughs> so I shouldn't listen to her, whatever she's saying, as well. Just don't trust anyone, you know. It's the smartest thing to do. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven or of hell a hell of heaven. Okay, well, whatever. E. Already done. Hello, that small box. Excuse me. I didn't know these candles were uh, powered by electricity. <laughs> they were actually flickering like that. Since when are candles powered by electricity? Of course, you know, in today you have fake candles, but I doubt those are fake candles. Those look quite look quite real. All right, so this is the user's room. Ah, perhaps not completely useless because you have a closet there. Ooh, that closet is eerie. This room seems like a replica of the one before, only slightly altered and more eerie. Yeah! <laughs> I have a... Yeah. It's, it, the, the game agreed with me. It was quite eerie. Hello there. I suppose you will have something that will scare me. A note. Oh, scary note. Hey, Doug. Well, my experiment turned out for the worst. I've worked on 20 subjects, and none of them have even come close to reanimating. The weird thing is, I'm starting to find these so poor words of the people on the news pages. And I can take my frustration out of them. Let me just try the process I come to in the diary entry to use as a reference as if I'm doing anything wrong. First, I strap the patient to the table, <laughs> which is probably the most difficult part. Then, administrate 20 grams of pentobarbital oil and wait 20 minutes for the effects. Then, I sanitize the body and use the serum I had conjured up to hopefully restart the heart. The heart pumps for at least three minutes. I brain transplant to replace the brain which most likely has dead brain cells after being decomposed for quite a while. Right now, I'm sitting at the table. Just wondering what I'm doing wrong. I've got the wrong inputs, the wrong injection area, the wrong process. It's just a mystery. Hey, you said something that wasn't in the note. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, is there something behind this painting? I don't know. Behind the furnace, the furnace fireplace, I mean. Yeah, okay, I'll, let's get that out of here. There's nothing here I can find. Nope. No, 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 no. no. This eerie uh, room is uh, quite cozy. I would like to stay here. Hell nah, I want to go there. I suppose I have to. Alright. 
Uh, don't mind me. Uh, can I come in? Uh, okay. Hello there, handle. Some books. And a key. They threw out my friend. I prevented the other subject next to myself. She was taken today. I was allowed to keep her liver as a remembrance. I kept part of it under my skin. She was thrown into the morgue last night. I wept for her mother. She's here too. Ah, great. Hello, the key. Holy shit. Hell, sound like an explosion first. I'm not sure if it was here or in the game. Hello. Oh shit, this appeared. Ah, at least I have enough oil, so that's good. No. Gonna love uh, watery parts. There's definitely something in the water. The one thing I'm not sure of is not the thing from before. The one thing I'm not sure of is it's not the thing from before. Oh yeah. I see. But what about the barrels? What do the barrels do here then? Good. Okay, so you warned me there was definitely something in the water. Okay, so that, 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 that's obvious. Bad boy. But what am I supposed to find in this place? I suppose there's something. What the hell is there? Huh. I probably have to look somewhere in the water. Oh. Luckily there are tables everywhere, so at least they give me a little bit of shelter. Okay, so there are tables, but... Uh, go back upstairs to where you came from, there will be a key in the air waiting for you. Trust me, anonymous. Oh! Just, uh... That's interesting. Are you a wizard? Oh, it's floating, really. Ah, the key number three. Yeah. I know where it goes. A tiny box will protect me, I hope. Woo! No, 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 I got this way. Invisible wall separates you from the hatch. Really now? Are you going to do it like that? I'm going to do me dirty like that, developer. <laughs> oh, daddy. You just fuck off. Easy. It's not over yet, but at least I've slipped past him. Rock there. I've no clue where I am. What the hell this is oh Great Great Box Box uh, No I'm never going to forgive you. Uh, thank you for your protection box. I was highly appreciated. Let's hope I can keep Oh <laughs> You're doing me dirty, developer. Okay. Well, it seems that I'm smarter than you. Uh -huh. You can lock me in. I, but I has outsmarted your uh, trap. But I guess I have to die. Hello there. Ow. You chose wrong. Yeah, figured much. But how did I know which way to choose anyway? <laughs> Oh, I'm back here. Great. Uh, okay, let me 
let me guess, he's going to spawn there again. And I have to deal with it again. No? Hey. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, there are some flaws in this, uh, uh, you know, in the, uh, the, the structure. So, choose wisely. For only one level shall set you free. But how do I know which level? I mean, it's good to play such a puzzle in it, but at least give a hint to which level it is. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, that was fun. Uh, oh, I already got it. Okay, I see. <laughs> Excuse me. Remember, the time you feel lonely is the time you most need to be by yourself. Life's cruelest irony. Okay. This is the weirdest puzzle ever. Weirdest shit ever, I shall say. But I have to admit, this puzzle actually made a sense in a bit, you know. It's very difficult to figure out with the word contrast that you have to actually choose the numbers that are not mentioned in the notes, but at least it does make sense, so yeah. Kills me sometimes how people die. Kill him. So weird ass quotes. But that area back there didn't make any sense. <laughs> Number three. So now I guess it's the graveyard. Hooray. Let's go to the graveyard. We do not have to visit the madhouse to find disordered minds. Our planet is the mental institution of the universe. When what the hell? What's with this place? The structure doesn't make any sense. Let's play a game, Jonathan. Let's play hide and see. I'll hide. You see. I love that. These twisted barbaric games of yours. Go away. I'll count to ten. One. Oh no. Two, <laughs> three. Ah. I'm not playing this. Five, to whom reads this note? You don't need to put the hood up or well, whatever. If anyone is to find this note, file a report to the police immediately. Me and my son have to run off to Dublin after a series of dis disappearances in our town. At first, I thought it was a coincidence, but now I feel I can feel a presence waiting for the perfect time. If anyone is concerned about the graveyard, I have left the key on top of my house on the roof. What are you waiting for, Jonathan? I hope you're not one of them yet. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come and find me. <laughs> okay, it's up there. I'm outside, but still remain captive. I can't seem to get the slightest hint of where I am right now. Oh, but I was now thinking it does kind of make sense that it doesn't make sense because I'm going insane. Ah, yeah. So all the level design uh, in a weird way makes sense because, like I said, I'm going insane. But yet, you know, sometimes there are gaps in the walls. I still have to find the second letter piece. There it is. Because, you know, okay, so, I guess, okay. So, it does make sense that, you know, the environment is sometimes weird because I'm going insane, but you know, sometimes you still have those gaps in the ball. I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. I mean, you know, for example, if you had the room with the many paintings with the key behind it, I mean, was that 
intended like that or was it just uh, bad scripting? Okay. Well, well, no. I know there's a. What do you want me to do that? Wait. Oh. Like that. Hello, that key. Oh, graveyard key. Let's go to the graveyard. So I'm also expecting that the environment become will become more stranger and stranger uh, when, when I become more insane, of course. I can't see. He showed me the graveyard and where my friend was. Many people have died here. I asked him if I was next. He said I wasn't ripe yet. So I do expect uh, when I become more and more insane that the environment becomes more and more twisted. It is from the Bible that man has learned cruelty, rapine, and murder for the belief for a cruel god and something else. Alrighty then. Interesting. Okay, so what are we going to find in the graveyard? Ooh. Oh! But uh, what are you pointing me towards? I saw I just saw the terrible creature again, but it turned out to be nothing. Am I seeing these things again? Oh, okay. Ah, a tiny box. Yay. Okay, okay, so... What the hell am I supposed to do here? Want me to jump down there? But, oh. But I don't think I will be able to get out of the place once I jump in there, so... I'm going to do kind of a last resort thingy. No, I'm not going to stay. Am I crazy? Ah, I'm not going to listen to you. Fuck you. What the hell's? I'm going really insane. Ooh. Okay. Um. Okay, so I have a thing this. Man, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Uh. There's only tiny box in here. Ah, don't do that. Okay. It seems that I'm stuck behind an invisible wall and the box as well. This is not good. I mean, it's a pretty good custom story, pretty interesting, and also the voice acting, but you have certain flaws in the scripting and coding like this. So I'm going to fix it with getting myself a lot of speed. Did you hear that? Was that just the brute spawning just in, uh, when I closed the game? That was interesting. Uh, documents. Amnesia. Main. Tom, custom. Uh, oh, the night I went insane. Okay. okay so, which auto save do I need? This one would be the one. Notepad. And there goes my mouse to have run speed mill. There we are. Come back, mouse. Fifteen and safe. 
Now I have to go back to Amnesia. Where the hell is it? Oh yeah, it's there. Start. Luckily, I have an antidote to uh, for invisible walls, so that's good. Night, I went insane. Oh, fucking hell, he did spawn somewhere. Oh. Okay, there we are. Key number four. Okay, so... The key was in here anyway. Well, let me guess, he spawned somewhere there. In the... Tiny village. Well, you can blame the invisible wall for me having speed, so... Well, of course, after this episode is done, I will... Um, undo this. Okay, so where was the... Uh, that wasn't so hard. And I didn't find him. That's good, at least. Okay, number four. I doubt it's... I doubt it's for the elevator, the, the lift. Yeah, I guess it's for this one. The prison. <laughs> Once you have put the pieces back together, even though you may look intact, you were never quite the same as you have been before the fall. Yeah, so you have also those name twisting. I, I think, you know, the developer eventually got a little bit lax, a little bit uh, lazy in its uh, scripting and mapping. Remember this place. Where the hell were you earlier? Um, I was, well, dealing with some things. What's been up with you lately? You've been acting pretty weird. N no, I haven't. I'm not stupid, Spirit. Just tell me what's up. You're trying to help me, so you should be honest at the very least. Well... Me and that guy, we have a bit of a connection. What kind of connection? Well, he... He murdered me. That bastard. Shh! I don't want to hear us. He doesn't even know I escaped. What do you mean, he doesn't know I escaped? Well, after my death, he tried to trap my spirit inside my corpse, like what his creator did to him. But I managed to escape before he got the chance to. He probably doesn't recognize me. Just don't mention me to him, okay? Sure. Let's go. Okay. What will we find in the prison? We will see that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.